welcome guys this is data of slash when youtube channel today we are going to see our tutorials for beginner lesson number nine in this tutorial we are going to see data exploration with r we will see without using ggplot2 we can explore data very nicely so let's see how to do data exploration with r In this tutorial, we are going to see how to plot bar plot, how to plot histogram, how to plot scatter plot very easily. First, we are going to see how to plot bar plot. So, for I have just created one vector product A, and product A will contain values 12, 43, 25 just run it control plus enter and see product a so product a contain 12 43 and 25 values so for plotting bar plot for this vector very simple inbuilt function in r bar plot in bracket product a so this vector name and color if you want to color this bar plot then here is function col and give any color name in double code so your bar plot is ready here so if you want to change the color just write color name in double code and color will be changed accordingly so i just write here another vector product b and product b contain values 1 to 10 and the sequence will be by one difference so just see the product b values the vector contains 1 to 10 values by difference 1 and for plotting bar plot here is a command bar plot product b and give color name i just write here in yellow so our bar plot is ready so very quickly you can plot bar plots in r then i just created two vector here product a and product b Product A contain value 12, 43, 25 and product B contain values 90, 34 and 56. I just combine these two product vector A and B by using rbind function, rbind in bracket, product A, product B. By rbind we can bind number of vectors but the vector length should be same. So just check the rb. So you can see the RB uh, data frame having the these two values product A and product B vector. So just write the bar plot RB and you can see here the RB contains two values product A and product B and if you want to color these two product and product B very simply you can give color bar plot RB color in bracket C why we write C because we want to more than one color so by C function we can give we can write more than one color so you can see here the product A and product B subdivided bar plot is ready you can observe here these are the yellow is in product A and in the green there are product B values so for comparison purpose this bar plot is very useful for understanding data in better way the next i just install one package here breakdown how to install this package breakdown just copy it and go to packages install and right here breakdown package i already installed that's what i am not going to install after installing you just need to recall this package by library function library breakdown and this breakdown function having hr data what is hr data hr data having the one 14999 rows and 10 variable means 10 column this data frame contain hr related data employees data so employee certification level employees last evaluation number of project employees are working average monthly hours employees are working time spent it with company means how many years employees are working with company work accidents 
So if they, there is, this is the manufacturing company, so there is chances for the accidents. Zero means there are no accidents, and one means there are accidents. Left means the employees are working or not. Promotion in five years, if the employees getting the promotion, then the value of that sale is one, after the zero. Sales means there are different department in this company, account, accounting, HR, etc. Then salary, there are three types of mainly salary, high, low, medium. So this data set we will use for data exploration. So first I am going to plot bar plot. So for plotting bar plot, I just write here, command here, bar plot, table, HR data, or rate of frame name, dollar sign, salary. So by this command, you can see the frequency table is here by table function. So high, there are 1,237 1, employees having high salary, 7,316 employees having low salary, and 6,446 employees having medium salary. But by this only number, we cannot visualize the picture of that number we cannot directly compare these numbers between high low medium so for that i just write here bar plot command bar plot table function then call you can give any color by using call function main why main by main function you can give title for your plot and title should be in double code i just write here salary wise distribution just run it and you can observe here there are very few employees having high salary huge employees having low salary and medium employees medium size of employee having medium salary so by visualizing we can understand better way the data then histogram histogram also very useful for understanding the distribution of any column or any variable so for plotting histogram here is a function in R inbuilt function in R there is a no need to install any package extra package hist in bracket our data frame name HR data dollar sign for addressing the column number column name certification level and 30 for deciding the binds in histogram and main for giving the title for histogram main in bracket double code histogram for satisfaction level just run it and you can observe many of the employees are satisfied very good in 0 0.6 to 1 so huge number of employees are satisfied about the company very few employees are not satisfied if you want to change the bin size in histogram here is a customization option just replace 30 by 10 and you can observe the bin size is changed if you want to give color then same command as above histogram HR data certification level curl call is equal to pink means color of that histogram will be changed in pink if you want to give the X label and Y label here is default X label and Y label but not so clear so here is the function for deciding the X label and Y label same command as above histogram the HR data certification label break will be 10 means bin size is 10 X lab for giving the X label of that plot and Y lab is giving the Y label for that plot and you can observe the labels should be in double code then main for deciding the title for that histogram then color sky blue and x limit means the limit of that axis is from 0 to 1 if you want to change then you can just change in here see in bracket so you can observe here limits are changed 0 to 1 then satisfaction level frequency and distribution level if you just miss one double code then it will be throw error so you can observe here error error unexpected symbol in double code so main in distribution satisfaction level by reading this error you can observe that where is exactly error is occur 
so this time is no error scatter plot mainly scatter plot we use for observing or we need to find out relation between two variables suppose the any quality of any product is going high then the sales of that product will be going high if the price of any product is going to low then the sale of that product going to the high so this type of relation between two variables sales and uh, quality of that product sales and the price of that column that product so this is the relation we can find out by using scatter plot here i just want to the relation uh, i just want to the find the relation between the satisfaction level and average monthly house suppose the any employees are working very high very high amount of hours you know, he is working in organization then what is their satisfaction level by using the scatter plot we can find out so for plotting scatter plot here is a command plot in bracket our data frame name hr data and satisfaction level then hr our data frame name and average monthly hours of that column then for x label i just write here satisfaction label and on y axis there is average monthly hours and main in bracket you can give any title relation between satisfaction level and average monthly hours by this function black slash n you can write the title in next line because this title is very long so by this function black slash n you can break this line into next line just see the graph is ready relation between satisfaction level and average monthly hours so after plotting you just write two three observation how for this graph so by new person is for new person this is easy to understand what is the graph so graph is showing you can observe here this employee group having the satisfaction level is less why because these employees are working very high working hours like 250 to 300 so this is the reason these employees are not satisfied their work and life balance is not balance so this is the main reason so you can write observation for this group this group is also satisfied about company they having the 0.6 to 1 satisfaction level because these employees are working normal hours like 150 to 250 and these employees is working very less and having very less satisfaction level so we can say this group having different issue with their work they are working in the project which is they, they don't like so this type of observation you need to write for the understanding for new person easily because by showing only this graph this is very weird to understand for new person so just make it habit to write two three observation about this graph let's go to our next okay this is for the this uh, video if you like this video then press like button and thanks for watching this video till the end and enjoy our new video on weekends and please subscribe this youtube channel and share with your friends for getting latest update in data science and R programming. Thank you so much.